What's up, Internet World? Coach Daniel here. I want to talk about our next four-week challenge. So if you're interested in such things, that's what this video will be about. So stick around. I'm going to announce how you'll win this next one. I'm going to announce who won the last one and then just details about it. Okay, so for starters, know that this is a free challenge. So that's awesome if you ask me. Um, it's for our members, but we open it up to the public. Whoever else sees this video, you want to opt in, jump into doing something with other people. And just knowing that other people are out there doing these things with you, that may give you a little motivation and support enough to opt into doing these. And uh, basically, it's our best attempt at giving you something that is going to add some value to your life in some way, in our opinion, at least. Okay, so... This uh, last one, it was a core challenge. Uh, I laid out all the details of why the core is important in the last video about the challenges. Go check it out if you haven't. But if you move your body through space, your core is really important for that. And so we started the first challenge with that in mind. So it was a physiological challenge about movement with your body, right? Um, and that was pretty much the benefits that you got out of it. There's a lot of other benefits that could bleed into your mindset and other things like that, but it was primarily a movement-based uh, challenge. And this next one is also. Okay, so also, who won the last one? Rich from the morning class. Everybody give him a round of applause in your homes while you're watching this video, if you know Rich. Um, he's a frequent 6 a.m. -er that comes four or five days a week. He jumped in. We did a test and a retest of a plank hold. He had the most improved time. Also did all the workouts for four straight weeks. It was two additional workouts each week. Um, and he got that done, logged it on the board. Rich wins. I'll have you a gift at the gym very soon. I'm sure I'll see you at 6 a.m. tomorrow and we'll talk about it. But anyway, the rest of you that are sticking around for the next one, it's going to be a walk, okay? Just a simple old walk. 20 minutes, six days a week out of the seven days, you have to walk 20 minutes. You cannot walk 40 minutes and skip a day. You got to walk 20 minutes for six days. If you want to walk longer than that, great, but that's not going to win you anything. Um, but you can't try to get it all done in one day. If you miss a day, you're going to be behind a little bit. But that's okay because you're going to win this by getting the most 20-minute walks in the end. Okay, so whoever has the most at the very end will win. We'll tally it all up at the gym. We'll throw it on the whiteboard with your name. And you'll be able to log it up there at the gym. And if you're not a member of the gym, I'll get it up on our whiteboard for you. Just message me and you can jump in. Now, what are the benefits of a 20-minute walk? So many of us are living really stressful lives, whether it be with work or at home. A um, lot of attention-seeking things that are, are grabbing our attention. And uh, we don't frequently sit with ourselves. Some of us, maybe that's even scary to sit with yourself. And maybe you or really in your head all the time. And you're like, oh, the idea of sitting with myself more feels uh, fearful, scary. I get that, I understand it. Um, <laughs> but let's face a the fear there. Um, me too, right? I'll jump in this with everyone. And uh, let's face a fear, step into that. Maybe walking isn't scary, sitting with yourself is not scary at all. And it's like, why would I walk for 20 minutes? Well, maybe if you sit at a desk a lot, you don't spend some time with yourself, there's where the benefits are going to be. It is physiological, but it's also psychological, potentially spiritual. If you're into such things, I don't want to lose too many of you there. Um, but you could do it in so many ways. I want to talk about that in a second. But I wrote down some benefits of a 20-minute walk. There's a study done, and they did uh, two hours in a week spending time in nature. Um, so there's your challenge even more so. Can you do this in nature? When you get outside your door, that's technically nature, but can you kind of get away from it all a little bit sometimes? Um, if not, just walking around your block's great, but it's got to be 20 minutes. You could do it on a treadmill also, um, but the benefits of this are going to be stress responses. You start to work on your overall stress in life. The hormones get helped, um, and also fear reduces anger, increases pleasant feelings, that's cool, uh, reduces blood pressure, heart rate, muscle tension. That's the, what the study talked about, just getting two hours a week, and we're sprinkling in doses. You could also accumulate it, is what they said. So this is doses, 20 minutes a day, um, and those are some of the benefits of it. Noting, knowing that just moving your body through space is beneficial also, 
Uh, this is also some aerobic work that you can add to your life. Walk up a hill if you want to make it a little more difficult. Go on a trail. And then you can get some more aerobic, steady state cardio, which is really important, especially if you're doing high intensity interval training, kind of like we do in CrossFit, um, or you're doing CrossFit, you'll get the benefits of adding in this aerobic work, which helps with your overall recovery, your ability to utilize oxygen. Um, it'll help with all those things, okay? RX plus this, here's how you do that. You go barefoot in nature, look up grounding, you can look that up um, and see all the benefits of that. I don't want to lose anyone to that uh, spiritual thing either, but go check it out. If you don't know anything about grounding, your bare feet in the earth is really great. Don't cut yourselves. All the uh, be responsible, you know, your adults. Um, can you do it in nature? Can you do it barefoot? Can you do it with no cell phone? You could have it in your pocket for safety reasons. Don't look at it for 20 minutes. Don't look at your phone. No music, no podcast, just you, yourself, your thoughts, not with other people. Can you do it alone? That's the extra challenges to it. The only thing you got to do is walk 20 minutes wherever you want to walk inside, outside. You got to do it six days a week. You got to do it for four consecutive weeks. Um, let me know if you got more questions. That's all. I've taken enough of your time. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening and go Cowboys, y'all. Go Cowboys. If you stuck around and you saw that, uh, Seahawks suck.